some of you may have dived to a lot of different areas and some of you may not be diving in different areas. So this is just a sharing of uh, what I have uh, uh, experienced. My area is um, Southeast Asia, that's um, Indonesia, Thailand, Philippines, Malaysia. So <laughs> let's talk about dive guide. Dive guide will be the first few person that you'll be introduced to. Okay? And also will be leading your dive in charge of the safety, you know, the planning, everything. Okay? Uh, to meet your expectation. Okay. So if you were introduced to a dive guide who is not a dive master rating, so how what's your perception would it? Okay. And some of the dive guides is dive master rating, and uh, some of the dive guides is um, dive instructor. So will it be better? Okay. So that's is um, my personal opinion. Okay. The first one will be the dive guide speed of the dive master rating. Um, certain area the dive guide have worked there for very long but they don't have the uh, education background they don't really speak the language um, um, that we don't understand the language that the uh, dive um, master uh, education system academies provide okay so um or because it's not really required so and uh, they know that they can do a good job not all yeah uh, you know, those good ones. And uh, they work as a dive guide and we look for them. We look for them, one thing that's very important is that you must be able to take care of yourself. I'm not saying that they won't take care of you, but they may take care of you in different ways. And um, they are very focused in introducing you the local uh, specialty, the fish, the marine life. Okay, because that is what they're good. Some of them have this uh, feeling that if you come and look for them, you should be able to take care of yourself and their work is to show you the place, tell you what is dangerous, what is not, and then focus in looking for fish or marine life. So if you are looking for this kind of dive guide, first of all, you need to know that you take care of your own safety. And I'm not saying that they don't take care of your safety. I'm saying that if you want them to do a good job in finding marine life, they can't do both. It is very difficult. Okay? If you need somebody to really take care of safety, I recommend you to ask the dive center before you go to this dive center that is there a dive master rating dive guide. And that actually didn't guarantee anything because it all depends on the uh, attitude of the dive guide. Okay? But at least a dive master rating dive guide academically, he will understand you better. Okay? At least on this. Not necessary but at least so if you really need people to take care some of the places actually offer the dive master that do the job of taking care of divers rather than uh, look for fish okay but uh, if you go with a whole group of people uh, of course you know you have certain divers who specially come all the way here to see for some special uh, uh, marine life and uh, it is not easy to find so the dive master has to fully focus on looking for those things they can't do both things at the same time well. Okay? And what about a dive guide that is dive instructor rating? So for me personally, I'm an instructor for 20 over years and uh, uh, there is one problem. I, after I become an instructor, I actually can't guide very well. Why? Because I really cannot do both things well. One thing. The second thing is my, my uh, how do you call it? My focus is on whether you improve your skill or not. So my focus is on the diver. Always the diver, the diver, the diver. And I'm so used to it that I cannot not looking at my diver and make sure that they are there. So yes, on making sure of safety wise, is actually, a dive instructor is really good. But me personally, if I go for a dive trip, I don't, I don't really want to dive with a dive instructor because uh, uh, I'm going to be confident that I can take care of myself. Second thing is that I really like a dive guide, dive guide that focus on fish but I know it's not it's not fair because in a group of a uh, few of uh, let's say eight divers or six divers you know, uh, some of the places is four divers to a dive master right so um, uh, uh, different people have different requirements okay? so I really you know, recommend that you make sure you know it is not necessarily a dive guide which is dive master rating uh, a dive master rating dive guide um, could be good dive guide, could not be not good dive guide, it depends on what is the role that are given and their own attitude. A dive instructor dive guide may, uh, may really take care of people very well. 
to a stage where um, for certain, especially photographers, they, they, they don't prefer. But again, as I said, it's very general because I have met a dive instructor who are very good in taking care of people, teaching people and also looking for marine life. And uh, even him tell me that he can't do three things at one time. Okay, so when you have this awareness, when you go to a dive center, before you go to a dive center with your group or anything, look, make this preparation because a dive guide, a good dive guide, or a guide dive guide that can deliver your expectation. Okay, different people have different expectations. Uh, it's actually very important in the dive. Okay.